Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining. I am Jamal Arif and I'm part of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Uh, today I'm going to walk through uh, the OCI registry service. Uh, so our safe harbor statement. So in this uh, upcoming videos, we'll come cover uh, the OCI registry service. Uh, what are the policy requirements for OCIR? Um, how do you manage repos using the service itself? Uh, and then do a quick demos on uh, pulling an image from OCIR when you are running your application in OKE. Uh, and how do you set global image retention policies on your uh, images which are stored in OCIR? Uh, so what the service is about. Um, so it's a highly available Docker v2 compliant container registry service. Uh, it stores uh, your Dockerized images in uh, private or public repositories, and it runs as a fully managed service on OCI. On OCI. So, what are the problems that it's solving? Uh, well, when you when a, when development teams need to uh, maintain uh, a set of like Dockerized images for their applications, uh, they it's very hard to do that without a managed registry service. Uh, there are certain requirements like how do you figure out to en enforce access rights uh, and security policies for your images so that those uh, individual teams who only need to have access to certain images are given the access and how do you create those granular policies uh, to enforce that access for, for your teams. Uh, it's also difficult to uh, have the right set of images available for your applications in the same region of deployment as your application is going to deploy. So what are the key benefits of OCIR? Uh, so one that it is fully integrated with the container engine for Kubernetes, our Kubernetes service running on OCI. Uh, the registries can be our default, uh, by default are private, but you can also make them public uh, if you have the rights to do so. Uh, it's also co-located regionally. So container engine, if you're running your applications on OKE or, or Kubernetes engine, uh, the OCIR registry service is also co-located in the same region. So you get that high performance, uh, low latency and high available ac access to those uh, images which are running in the same region for you. From a pricing perspective, uh, it's a very basic and simple pricing structure. Uh, so basically all of the managed services that you have is completely free uh, and you're only paying for the OCI resources that you're using underneath. Uh, so for instance, if you have your applications deployed on Kubernetes engine and your, your Dockerized images are in OCI registry service, from a management perspective, you're not like all of the managed services part of that service are completely free and you're only paying for the resources which you're using on OCI. So for instance, it would be virtual machines, which are hosting your containers or pods. Uh, if you're using any, uh, any storage services to keep your persistent data, or if you're using uh, the, you're storing your images to OCIR. So you're using some kind of a block storage and uh, like object storage underneath. So you're just paying for that storage services that you're using. So in the upcoming video, uh, we'll uh, look into how do you actually create a repository uh, using the OCI registry service, what are some of the policies required, uh, and and then follow on with some demos on if you want to pull your images if you uh, with an application running in OKE, uh, how do you do that? So please join me in the next video.